Hey, this is Mike Parsley with the TWRA. We wanted to come out today and want to introduce my friend Jason Holland. He's going to help us uh, with some tackle tips and fishing tips this year to get you uh, out on the lake and more successful. Uh, today, what we wanted to do is start off by showing you how to make an umbrella rig. And there are items that you're going to need to make an umbrella rig. Number one is the wire. This is tooth proof leader wire. It's 218 pound test leader wire. And it comes in a roll kind of like that. That's gonna be the wires for the umbrella rig. Uh, the next thing you're gonna need, Jason, is uh, a do it mold. This is an ounce and a half uh, spinner bait mold from do it molds. Then you're gonna need uh, ball bearing swivels for the blades for the umbrella rig and then sleeves to go on the wire and then swivels to go to your baits. Mike, why are the swivels so important? That's what allows the blades of the umbrella rig to turn and you attach those uh, ball bearing swivels to clevises. And so I guess that's, that's the whole point of as you're pulling that bait and swinging it along, obviously you have uh, your, your, you know, your swim bait, your paddle tails, but you also got those blades that are spinning that gives it that full uh, bait ball effect or that ball of shad. And so as that comes by, uh, the fish themselves look at it, it's a big ball of shad. And so that's what makes that bite so incredible. That's right. Uh, I mean, they, they absolutely unload on them. Yeah, they, they absolutely think it's real. So um, what I do to make these umbrella rigs is I get, I get the wire, the leader wire, and I make one 12 inch piece and I tie an eye in the head of that piece. And then the other two arms are twice as long and you bend those into, into loops and you pass those through the eye of what you just made. So when you get done, you'll end up with four or five wires wrapped around a barrel swivel, which is gonna be the eye of your umbrella rig. Once you get there, you just start adding sleeves sleeves and beads, clevises, and ball bearing swivels. And then you need crimping pliers, and you can crimp those sleeves anywhere you want on those wires, and that's where your blade is going to ride. The, the main thing to remember is these top two wires of the umbrella rig need to be an inch shorter than the bottom three. Okay, so you have your main middle wire, which is longest. It's about a half inch longer than your two bottom, your bottom wires, but the two top are much shorter. And again, is that just separation? No, what that does, look, in Tennessee, what we have is a, a rule where you can only throw three hooks. If you're gonna throw three hooks, you want the fish to only eat those three arms gotcha. with a hook on them. So these two top ones, what you do is you take hitchhiker springs and you put a spring on those two and you throw shorter swim baits than you would throw on the bottom the difference in length and size of the swim baits you see much bigger baits on the bottom three than you would throw on the top gotcha so again you kind of got those two teasers at the top but again you don't want them eating those that's right there's no hook in them so it gives it that full presentation of a entire ball of shad but again you want them focusing on those back three on the, where the hooks are back at. three that's right so yeah. you want the you want the hooks and the bigger uh, shad lures on the bottom, and then you want the shorter fakes, the dummies, up on top. So when the, the fish comes in to eat this, he's going to get these bottom three before he ever gets to these top two. So. When you get all of your wires made, uh, it's, you're gonna end up with that, and I tape it. You put this in your mold, and you'll close the mold up, okay? The head of the umbrella rig is made out of alumilite, um, and it's just a resin. It's kind of like a, a, a glue, and you'll pour that resin inside this mold. When you get finished, of course, it won't be painted, but you'll end up with an umbrella rig head with wires hanging off the back. And so I guess that's what makes some product like alumilite so great is the fact that you still get this large profile, but again, it's super light, it weighs almost nothing. So you're not having that whole uh, extra weight on the front of that bait 
that's pulling it down. It allows you to get that more gliding action as you slowly reel it, and you're not that's got right. this downward projection because of a super weighted head, like a, a you know something like lead or a tungsten or something along those lines. Yeah, what a lot of people don't understand is you can throw them in a foot of water, or you can throw them in 30 foot of water. All the weight is just these three heads holding the holding the. Uh, the hooks. Yeah, and I guess that those, as those weights, you know, obviously just the overall pull of those weights allows that uh, uh, umbrella rig to, to spread out to give it that more full look of a full, you know, ball of shad. That's right. I make them and sometimes I don't even have, I don't paint them. I just mark them up with a marker. They don't yeah. care what it looks like. They don't like. care how pretty it is. That, that catches fishermen, but fish don't care. They're looking at the, at the blades anyway. So that's what's attracting them. And that's how you make it. You know, you have to have a little a little wire bender, and you bend up the the eyes, and uh, pour the head on it, and that's how you that's how you make an umbrella rig here in Tennessee.